Hello, this is Paolo with Preta 3D and I have a quick tutorial today on how to disable the subdivision on figures like the Subdragon. So the Subdragon is here and uh, we can see that there is a little script. Now this scroll here indicates that there is a little script attached to this figure. What that means is that when you double click on the figure, the script will be automatically executed without you doing anything. In this case, this script is called the power loader and the power loader sets up the, the figure automatically for you with a series of default features that you uh, pre-select in some way, in some cases. This is a very useful uh, feature because it executes automatically a series of steps that you otherwise will have to do manually. Now, one of the things that the power loader does is to enable the subdivision. Subdivision is when you divide each polygon in the figure in four polygons. It makes the, the polygons at a finer granularity, which in general, in general, makes the figure smoother, which is a good thing, but of course, it has a cost in, uh, in memory and time. Anyway, uh, let's first add the subdragon as it's done normally. So I'll just double click on the icon and we will see that Studio will go through the steps. I'm currently running Windows 7 with uh, Studio 3.1 at 32-bit, even though the OS is actually running 64. So this is just to give you some general background information. So here is our dragon and if we are wondering if this is subdivided or not, the only thing we need to do is to be sure that it's selected here in the scene. And then we go to the parameters tab. And in fact, you see that there is a subdivision section. Now, if the figure is not subdivided, this section will not be here. If you think that you can disable subdivision by simply setting the level at zero, think again. This is still subdivided and this will not work with reality and Lux. Okay, so this is not how you disable it. You basically have to get rid of the subdivision altogether because the subdivision, the problem is that it uh, rearranges completely the geometry has it stored internally in, in studio. And uh, this process, this reorganization is almost completely undocumented um, outside DAS. So there was very little I could do to interface that situation, but that will change with Studio 4 and the version of reality that will be done for Studio 4. But for now, with Studio 3.1 and reality 1.25, there is a very, very easy workaround. So let's just go to File, New, and erase the scene so that we are back to square one and now we do this when I click on when I double click on the figure I first press and hold the control key this is on Windows on the Macintosh you would press and hold the command key so on Windows I'm pressing the control key and I'm holding it and then I double click on this and now we will see and I keep holding the key, we will see that the power loader dialog box appears. Now, this is what normally is executed without asking you any question. Okay, so but in this case, we actually see it. So here we can see that it's our sub dragon selected. We go to the mesh resolution tab and in here we have the convert to subdivision surface. So this is what you need to disable. And keep in mind that the same power loader dialog box is also available for figures like Victoria 4 and Michael 4. So if you get a message from Reality complaining about Victoria or Michael being subdivided, the procedure is exactly the same. So mesh resolution, convert to subdivision has to be off. Then we click on accept and now Studio will go through the same exact series of steps, except that it will not subdivide the figure at the end. 
and uh, we will be able to verify that through the parameters tab in the same way we verified it before. Almost there, okay. So here is our figure. We are sure that it's the figure that is selected and we go to parameters and there is no subdivision. So this is all that you need to do and um, in this way you will be able to render the subdragon and you can still take advantage of subdivision using the subdivision inside the reality. The advantage of that system is that instead of subdividing the entire figure, you will be able to subdivide each single material, which is more convenient. It allows you to basically use the additional memory only for the materials that are close to the camera. Things like the tail or, 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 or hidden parts of the body that are not visible then don't need to be subdivided. That would be just a waste of time and waste of RAM, waste of memory. So, this is how you disable the subdivision in Studio. I hope this was useful. Have fun with the Subdragon and Reality.